everybody. So today it's Thursday, it's half past six in the morning. Um, I'm just about to feed Callum. We've got his MRI the, this afternoon. So he can't eat any solids after seven o'clock this morning, which is gonna be fun. And I think he can have milk until nine and then it's nothing but water until 12 when it's gonna get tough, I think, cause he'll be doing his lunch. Um, so I'm going to try and vlog today. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you guys, but we're going to go over for around half twelve and um, hopefully get him settled in before he gets put to sleep and I guess just wait then. <gasps> Say good morning. Say good morning. Have some porridge. Mmm, yummy porridge. This bowl is like absolutely filled to the brim, so let's see how we go. That's fine. <laughs> wow, we a big old bowl of porridge is in your tummy. In your tummy. Yeah. Is it in your tummy? Oh all gone. All gone. the doctors. Have we come to see the doctors? Yeah. They're going to have a look at your back. Uh, ah, you're chatting. Uh, ah. Callum. Hiya. Hiya. Are we home again? Are we? Yeah, are we home again? Are you all better? You all better after your sleepy medicine? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, you're back to normal, aren't you, puppet? You are a silly little baby, aren't you? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so we're home again now. Um, Callum was in there for about, it's about 45 minutes. Um, we <laughs> didn't follow the instructions on the letter and I gave him water after 12 when I was meant to give him nothing between 12 and 1. So I was so focused on him only having solids before seven and then no milk after nine that I completely forgot about water restrictions. So we delayed ourselves by an hour, which was fine. Luckily they could still do the procedure. Um, he had gas to put him to sleep. So that was um, different. Um, so I held him on my arms and they gave him a little bit through a tube just to like calm him down. He wasn't too sure what was going on, but he wasn't crying, so that was okay. Um, and then they put the mask over his face, and she kept saying, like, he's just going to do this, and he's going to do that. And he wasn't really doing what she was saying, so I was a little bit confused. And, and she goes, he'll be a bit kicking, and then he'll be asleep. And he didn't kick. And then she was like, right, we're going to put him on the bed. And I was like, oh, is he asleep? But then as we put him down, like, his eyes rolled. 
and his arms and his body was just floppy and that was just like so horrible to watch just to see him lying there so helpless on this massive bed it was just like it breaks your heart but I knew he was in safe hands and I knew it was not for a long time and there was no surgery or anything it was just a scan so you have to kind of like pull yourself together so we left him with the doctors and we went for a coffee and treated ourselves to a cake <laughs> and then just kind of hung around until he was ready and then they let us know when he was back in recovery we went through whilst he kind of came round gave him a bottle and then he was back to his normal self so we've just got home we're just going to carry on with our day as normal I'm not going to give him any tea as he's only just eaten his bottle and it's about half past four now and he'll be having another bedtime bottle at about half six so he'll give him a bit of fruit and just take it from there really see how he gets on so they said we should hear in a couple of days um the well i guess the results or if there's anything further to discuss and if not we've got to chase the clinic so fingers crossed we get a letter fingers crossed it's not an appointment because <laughs> that means obviously something is wrong um but Either way, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably put it on the blog or maybe on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, my handle is just at the little puffin. Um, obviously, if it's on the blog, then I'll put the details below in the description box. And yeah, so that's over and done with now. Nothing until the summer when he should be having a sleep study. So besides the physio or paediatrician or you know normal appointments like that we should be done now with hospitals for a little bit which is nice so yeah give me a um, subscribe if you want to learn more about our journey and find out more about achondroplasia and come on this little whirlwind of an adventure with us and we'll see you soon bye